Samsung has just launched its new Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus flagship phones and I've had my greasy mates all over these super premium mobiles to see how they stack up in terms of specs, features, all the way through to that sexy camera tech. So here's my full side-by-side -side comparison with the Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus and don't forget for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech to poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now first off, it's probably not a massive shock to learn that the Galaxy S10 is easier to manage with a single hand than the Plus model. There's not a huge amount between these two when it comes to the dimensions and weight, but once you upgrade to that Plus, it certainly does make a difference to the overall feel. Thankfully, they are both also quite comfortable to grip thanks to those curvy edges and corners. The Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus are both pretty damn rugged as well. You get a Gorilla Glass coating and they both sport an IP68 dust and water resistance rating as well. You can choose between a selection of prism colours, no matter which model you go for. Green, white, black and blue are all on offer. However, that Galaxy S10 Plus also boasts a ceramic white and black finish as well. It's a bit more premium and there are actually some differences in the specs of the ceramic models as we'll touch on in a bit. When it comes to the display tape, both the S10 and the S10 Plus rock Samsung's new Infinity O display. Now, the Galaxy S10 has a 6.1 inch panel, whereas the Plus model obviously boosts this in size to a 6.4 incher, which actually doesn't seem too crazy big in 2019 given all the other ridiculously sized handsets we've handled. That selfie camera is now actually housed in the display in a sort of a punch hole notch type thing, and the displays of both of these phones curve around the edges as usual, so that display does fill almost the entire front end of each phone. As for the display itself, it's Samsung's new dynamic AMOLED tech. You get a 19 by 9 aspect ratio and a Quad HD Plus resolution on both phones. And no matter your choice, you'll get support for HDR10 Plus as well, which is Samsung's own standard. This can regularly change the brightness level as you're viewing back videos or carrying out other tasks in order to suit the picture and ensure strong colour visibility. Samsung told us that both smartphones rate at a 0.4 on the GNCD skill, just noticeable colour difference. And no, I've got absolutely no idea what that means. But I'm guessing lower is better? As for brightness, no worries there either. They both have a 1200 nits peak brightness. You'll easily be able to see what's going on in an outdoor environment. The S10 and the S10 Plus both rock a ultrasonic fingerprint scanner built into that screen as well. This is a proper 3D sensor, so it can basically work even in rain, even if your fingers are a bit greasy, and it's not fooled by any 2D images, so it's super secure. The face scanning is a bit more basic, unfortunately. In this case, you just get simple 2D scanning, so it's not going to be quite as secure as that fingerprint sensor, but at least it's an option. When it comes to the performance, Samsung didn't actually want to tell us the exact chipset that both of these phones use at the time of our briefing, as it could apparently have actually changed between the briefing and the official launch. However, what they did tell us is that the S10 and the S10 Plus will both use the same octa-core 8 nanometer processor, so you can basically expect that to be the Exynos 9820. These are of course just the European specs, and it may be the case of in America they both use the Snapdragon 855 instead. And both of these phones also have 8GB of RAM packed inside, while the ceramic version of the Plus boosts this to a rather ridiculous 12. 12! Certainly in our hands-on session, we saw no kind of slowdown, stammers or stillness from either of these phones, as you would kind of expect. And Samsung's One UI, which sits neatly on top of Android Pie, also does a great job of app management in the background, apparently. So, for instance, this can cull any apps in the background that might wear down your performance and battery life at times when you typically don't use them. When it comes to the storage, the ceramic version of the Galaxy S10 Plus comes with a whopping one terabyte of storage, while the Prism models of the Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus serve up either 128 or 512 gigs of storage. And every model also has full micro SD memory card support of up to a further 512 gigs. Sorted. Now onto the battery tech, and of course the Plus model has a substantially bigger battery as well. It's a 4100 milliamp cell compared with the decidedly piddly 3400 milliamp on the S10. Both phones support a bit of fast wireless charging 2.0 of Samsung's own concoction, and they can also do a bit of reverse wireless charging too. Samsung has named this feature Wireless Power Share, and it works basically the same as Huawei's Mate 20 Pro. And when it comes to connectivity, both the Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus have a nice bit of Wi-Fi 6 support on board as well. Great news when Wi-Fi 6 routers start rolling out in 2019. It basically means faster, more dependable connectivity and it's lower power consumption as well. However, neither phone is 5G ready. For that, you'll have to wait until the summer of 2019 when Samsung launches a 5G version of the Galaxy S10. This is actually bigger than the S10 and the S10 Plus even as well. So what about the all-important matter of the camera tech? Well, in this case, the S10 and the 
S10 Plus are identical, or at least they are as far as that new triple lens rear camera goes. Both phones sport a 12 megapixel dual pixel primary lens. The aperture can be swapped between f2.4 for those sharp daylight snaps and f1.5 in those low light conditions. On top of that, you get a 16 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide angle lens for a greater view of whatever you're shooting, and a 12 megapixel telephoto zoom lens f2.4 aperture for a closer up view of more distant subjects. And the good news is that both the primary lens and that telephoto lens have optical image stabilization built into them on both the Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus. If you open up the camera apps, you'll see that basically the S10 and the S10 Plus offer the same camera features and modes. So for instance, they both have the option of smart scene recognition, which tweaks the look of your photos based on the subject that it detects. You also get some other smart photo modes which help you to line up your shot just right. And of course you get a slew of bonus camera modes including AR stickers, panorama, food mode, and so on and so on. When it comes to the video tech, you can shoot up to 4K resolution video at up to 60 frames per second, and there's also the option for HDR video. Both the S10 and the S10 Plus support Samsung's new Super Steady Video, which is basically an advanced form of image stabilization when you're shooting and moving at the same time. And of course there's support for super slow motion, time lapse, and all that kind of shenanigans. Switch around to the front of the S10 and the S10 Plus and you can immediately see a difference. The S10 has just a single punch hole camera lens embedded in that display, while the Plus bumps this up to a dual lens setup. So while both of these handsets have a 10 megapixel dual pixel snapper with an f1.9 aperture, the Plus also rocks an 8 megapixel secondary sensor with f2.2 aperture, and this is basically just used for depth sensing. There's no wide angle capabilities or anything like that. Despite the single lens setup, the Galaxy S10 seems just as adept at the Bokka style effects as the Plus, although we will of course be testing this much more extensively for a full S10 camera reviews. And you can shoot up to 4K resolution footage if you like to do a bit of vlogging as well. Great stuff. So as I say, stay tuned for our in-depth look at both the S10 and the S10 Plus, including that smart camera tech. And don't forget to poke subscribe down below and ding that notifications bell in order to see the latest and greatest mobile tech. Cheers, everyone. Love you.